Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because I actually had already filmed and edited and uploaded and scheduled a video for today and I opened my front door this morning and a package was sitting on the doorstep and I was like, all other videos can wait. I'm so excited about this collection. I'm gonna be reviewing and swatching and showing you how I got this makeup look right here using the new Dose of Colors times I Love Sarah He collection. Oh my gosh, I love Dose of Colors so much and I also really love I love Sarah He. She is so gorgeous and I love watching her makeup tutorials. So they collaborated and created a gorgeous collection, which I'm so excited to share with you guys today. This is the PR box. Here, let me scoot back a little bit so you guys can see. So here is the PR box. It's just white and it has Dose of Colors and then I love Sarah He and really nice gold foil lettering. Dose of Colors always pays attention to packaging and I just love that. You open up the box and there's a gorgeous picture of her. She's stunning. I love her freckles so much. Like that's my favorite feature of hers. I just love freckles and it like makes me want to do faux freckles, which I've never tried before. It also comes with a little card with three other makeup looks using this collection and then it has the palm tree print on this card and says I love Sarah He does with colors. Here's the entire collection. I'm so excited. It comes with four liquid lipsticks, two glosses, two highlighters, and a gorgeous eyeshadow palette. So that's what we're going to be chatting about today and I'm going to be kind of sharing my opinions on everything with you guys. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to show you guys the eyeshadow palette first. I made sure to film a little bit of it before I ruined it with my brushes. So here is what the eyeshadow palette looks like before I played around with it. The front packaging is also beautiful. It kind of has a palm print on it, which is so cute. And then the underneath color is kind of like a really pretty peachy nude. I love the packaging on this. It's just so cute and it's something that I would definitely display. So I love the packaging. This eyeshadow palette is so beautiful. It really inspires me. I'm going to show you guys some swatches really quickly. Hopefully you guys can see this. First we have Poquito Moss, which is a really pretty like champagne slash pink kind of color. Really pretty in the inner corner. We have Sun Glow, which is this gorgeous bronze shade right here. Here. Next we have Wanderlust, which is a gorgeous terracotta. Next to that is what I think is my favorite shade. Well, one of them actually, I like all the shades, but this is called Loungy and it's like the perfect peach. Next to that we have Palma, which is the most beautiful blue sparkly shadow ever. And then next to that is a really unique shade called Finders Keepers, which is like a matte black shadow underneath with glitter in it, which is such a unique shade as well. There are my swatches. <laughs> so next in the collection, I'm gonna show you guys her two highlighters. The first one is called Soulmate. I also have a clip of it before I used it. It's a really pretty kind of bronze gold color. I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now. And again, the packaging is gorgeous with the little palm print. And the inside has a really nice mirror with the palm print on the inside as well. It's just a really cute looking highlight. The second shade that she created was Bathe and it is more of a rose gold shade. I also have a little clip of it before I touched it right here so you guys can see up close. Same packaging as the other highlighter. It's so beautiful, so buttery and let me show you the swatches of those. So hopefully you guys can see this right here is Soulmate, which is obviously more golden. And then right here is Bathe, which is the more pink rose gold highlight. So next she launched four liquid lipstick shades, which I'm so excited about because I love Dose of Colors liquid lipstick formula. So let's go ahead and swatch some of these. I'm gonna go ahead and start with Nude Chica. First of all, the packaging I guess I should show you is this really cute kind of soft touch pink packaging. The applicator is the same as the other Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks and then the shade is listed at the bottom. So starting off with Nude Chica, it's such a gorgeous nude shade, obviously. Next, I'm gonna swatch Peachy. So here's Peachy, which is more peachy than this one. Both gorgeous nudes. I feel like I'm gonna be wearing these a lot. Next, I'm gonna be swatching Fresa. So there's Fresa right there. It's a really pretty kind of orangey, pinky red, I think I would describe it as. It's really pretty. I can't wait to wear that one. And then last, we have Aesthetic which is such a pretty kind of terracotta color. Wow, wow, wow. Gorgeous, love them. And then she also launched two lip glosses. One is called Barely There and the other is Brio. Here's Barely There and here's Brio. They're both so pretty. This one's a really nice nude and this one's like kind of a sheer golden sparkly one. Here is Barely There on my hand, it's so pretty. And let me swatch the other one next to it. And then there is Brio right next to it, which is more sheer with glitter in it. They're both so pretty though. 
So those are the swatches. I know those were kind of quick. I will link her video down below. I love Sarah. He created an entire video talking about the collection and she obviously has more to say about it than I ever could because she created it. So if you guys want to see that, I will link it down below if you're interested in seeing a little bit more behind the scenes and why she created the shades and all of that. So now I'm going to show you guys how I created this look and then at the end I will kind of give you my overall review, my favorite products and the ones that I would recommend most and things like that. So let's get into the tutorial. All right, so first I already did my brows off camera. I used the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint in the shade Spiked and then I went ahead and primed the eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and then I went over it with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and then I set it with the KKW Beauty Baking Powder. I just really want this eyeshadow to be really long lasting and so that's the steps that we did to prep. Let's go ahead and try out the I Love Serhi Dose of Colors Eyeshadow Palette. I'm very excited to dip into these. Obviously you can see they have not been touched yet and I'm so excited. So I'm first going to be dipping into this peach shade right here, which I believe is called Loungy. I hope that I am reading these right. The names are on the back of the palette instead of on the front of the palette. So hopefully I'm getting them right and not backwards. <laughs> but I'm just going to take this peach shade right here. And we're going to start to buff this in the crease area. So I'm starting out lightly because I'm not really sure how this is going to look. This makes me so excited though because I love peach eyeshadows so much. So I'm starting that in the crease and then taking whatever's left on the brush and kind of buffing it a little bit above as the transition shade. I'm also blending it out toward the end of the eyebrow. I actually haven't even dipped back in the pan and this is how much product is going on my eyes. So it's definitely super pigmented, very, very blendable, and it seems like they're really buildable as well. So I'm kind of bringing it in this inner corner here and then all the way out to the end of the brow. I seriously have not dipped back in the pan. I just really want this to look super diffused. So now I'm dipping back in the pan. I'm just using that same color and I want to kind of deepen up the actual crease. So I'm just going back and forth in the crease to intensify the shade there a little bit more. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Same thing on this eye. So next I'm gonna go into this gorgeous turquoise shade. I'm kind of nervous. This one is called Palma, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna start to just press this along the lash line. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I really wanna make sure that I'm packing it along the lash line first before I try to blend it up at all. It's actually applying really, really nicely with a brush. I'm wanting to use a brush initially just to kind of get the base color on and then I'll probably go in with my finger to intensify it. So now that I have the color on my lid a little bit, I'm just gonna kind of buff this up toward the crease. I'm taking my time so that we don't get too high with the blue. Oh, it's so much more intense with your finger. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. I honestly do not own any eyeshadow that looks like this. It is so pretty. So I'm just gonna keep layering and buffing the edges until I get the intensity that I want. And then I'm gonna dip into this shade right here, which is called Wanderlust. And I wanna kind of use this on the outer third of the eye. So I'm just gonna pat the color on initially before I go ahead and buff. And then I'm just going to start to move that into the crease a little bit more and just build it up lightly. It actually looks really cool blended with the blue. Kind of creates a nice like purple shade. I'm just taking that blue shade and kind of intensifying it more and making sure that we didn't lose any of the pigment over on this corner here. Then I'm gonna take this shade right here called Finders Keepers. And I'm wanting this to kind of just be almost an eyeliner. So I'm dragging it along the outer third, just out here in this corner. I don't want it to overpower like the other colors that we have going on. So I think I'm just gonna leave it kind of like that. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on this eye. And then I'm gonna be taking this shade right here called Poquito Mas, and I'm gonna pop that in the inner corner. I'm really just focusing on blending this in with the blue right here. I'm not gonna worry about putting it on the lower lash line yet. Obviously, if it gets there a little bit, that's fine, but I'm mainly wanting to just make sure it's blending into all the existing shadows up here. And while we're at it, I'm just gonna put it on the brow bone as well. Kind of has a really pretty like light pink undertone to it. All right, so now we're just gonna clean up the fallout under the eyes. I will say that there's quite a bit of fallout from these eyeshadows, but it's mainly the glitter eyeshadows and it's just the glitter that fell down on my face. And so that's really normal with glitter eyeshadows. And that's why I did my eyes first so that we could clean it up really easy. And on the edge here, I'm just kind of being careful to make a really nice edge because that black eyeshadow is kind of gonna create that winged liner effect almost. I'm just gonna pat down the line with my finger so that we can keep that shape there, but it's not so harsh. Now, I don't normally do this, but since this is a new eyeshadow palette and a very different kind of look for me, I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara to the top lashes just to kind of see the direction that I'm headed. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I've been loving this mascara. I'm just gonna do two to three coats 
and I'm really wanting to kind of focus a lot of the product on the root of the lashes to kind of create a eyeliner effect but since I didn't use eyeliner and I wanted this look to kind of be softer at the lash line I really want to put more mascara at the lash line to kind of define that without using eyeliner all right so now that we have mascara on the top lashes I'm really liking the direction of this makeup look so I'm gonna go ahead and prime the skin with Embryolisse light cream concentrate and for foundation we're gonna go into the Maybelline dream cushion foundation I can't stop using this and I just dip my brush directly into the pan and then start to buff it on the skin and then I take a sponge and dip it into the cushion as well and go right over the foundation with the sponge just to create a more smooth skin like finish then I'm going to take my KKW Beauty Concealer in the shade 4 and just conceal any blemishes along the jawline. And I'm going to take that same sponge and just blend that out. And then for under the eyes, I'm going to go into my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Since this is a very glam look, I really want to make sure that my under eyes are concealed super well. This is in the shade Light Sand. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with my sponge. I'm just adding a little bit more into like the hollows of my eyes since those take a little bit more concealer to cover the dark circles there. And I'm just blending that out with the same sponge. I'm just taking what's left on the sponge and kind of highlighting the center of the forehead. That way I don't put too much concealer there. But we get a little bit of highlight and that concealer from the sponge from what's remaining. And same thing on the chin. So before we set it, I'm just going to make sure there's no creasing under the eyes. And then I'm going to take that same KKW Beauty baking powder to set the under eyes. I honestly love this powder for under the eyes. It's so good. So to set the rest of the face, I'm actually going to be going into my Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I'm just kind of pressing that on my jaw because I have quite a bit of scarring and blemishes here. And I just find that when I layer a powder foundation that has a little bit of a pigment to it, it creates such a flawless base. All right, so hopping back into the eyeshadow palette, I'm going to go ahead and take that same peach shade that we started with first on the top lid for our transition shade. And I'm just going to start to kind of buff that Make sure there's not too much on the brush. I'm pinching the same brush that I used before and I'm just buffing this on the lower lash line. And as less product gets on the brush, I like to drag it a little bit lower just to really diffuse that lower lash line. I'm also making sure to kind of connect the eyeshadows at this outer corner here. Honestly, I'm so obsessed with this shade. It's like the perfect peach. Then I'm going to take a smaller brush and go into that terracotta shade called Wanderlust. And this is what I'm going to start to buff closer to the lash line on the outer third. I'm just gonna kinda use that same brush for the next color, but I'm dusting off the terracotta shade on a paper towel. And now I'm gonna go into the blue. I'm gonna really make sure that it's packed in the brush, tap off the extra, and start to just work this along the lower lash line really gently. Then I'm gonna take that black on a really small brush and just kind of connect the black shadow that we used on this outer corner and move it along the lower lash line about a third of the way in and just make sure to blend it out and blend it into the existing black shadow up here as well. Then we're gonna go into this lighter shade right here that we used in the inner corner and just kind of build up that inner corner again and move it into the lower lash line. I'm just adding a little bit more blue to that inner corner just because after we added the highlight, I felt like I could bring the blue in further than I had. So I'm just adding that really quick. All right, so now let's add mascara to the lower lashes. So now that I have mascara on the top and bottom lashes, I think I want to use some false lashes. These are from Kiss and they're in the style Page Boy. I'm just going to pop these on really quick. All right, lashes are on. Let's go into bronzer. I'm going to be using the Thrive Cosmetics Sun Chaser Bronzer in the shade Ray. And I'm just going to use this to sculpt and bronze the face. I'm just using that to bronze up the forehead, on the temples, and I'm really blending it into my hairline. And then I'm going along the jaw as well and down the neck. And then I'm taking a smaller brush and kind of running some down the sides of my nose to contour a little bit underneath the nose and right below the lip. And then I'm just kind of blending over that with the brush we used with the KKW Beauty Powder just to kind of blend everything together. For blush, I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush in the shade Beige for Days which is such a nice kind of muted beige color, but there is a little bit of peach when you actually apply it. I just love this blush. And it looks so nice with these eyeshadows too. So now we're gonna try out the highlighters. I am a little bit nervous about these because my skin is so fair. From what I can see, these look pretty dark. We're gonna have to see like how it swatches maybe first. Let me just try this really fast. Okay, so this is the lighter of the two, I believe, and this is called Soulmate. It feels so buttery. And then I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Bathe, which is more pink. Yeah, these are definitely really, really dark. I'm nervous. I don't know. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to apply Bathe as kind of like a cheek topper and see how that looks. So I'm just putting a little bit of that on and then buffing it out with my blush brush. It's definitely really dark for me. Um, let's try 
Soulmate on the cheeks. I'm again a little bit nervous because I really like the makeup I don't want to like ruin it with a super dark highlight So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and start to buff that onto my cheeks Okay, so it definitely reflects beautifully However, if you guys can see like when I turn this way you can kind of see the shadow since it is a deeper tone than my skin Put a little bit on the cupid's bow So like I said, it's absolutely gorgeous like when light hits it But from the sides it kind of makes my face look a little bit muddy I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up as well since I am so fair I feel like if my skin tone was like even one or two shades deeper I could make soulmate work Faith is a little bit too deep, but I feel like it did look pretty as a cheek topper so that's that so far. Let's finish up the look with the lips. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off any foundation. Actually, I lied before that. I'm just gonna go ahead and set the face with my Smashbox So Chill Coconut Primer Water. Got my handy fan ready. And then my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is my three step set. It's a little bit intense, but I swear by it. And then I take my Rimmel Stay Matte Setting Powder and I make sure to mattify any areas that I do not want to sweat or shine in, which is around the chin and mouth and the center of the forehead. Since we have such an intense look on the eyes, I'm gonna go in with Nude Chica, which is the liquid lipstick. That is such a pretty nude. Even on my fair skin, I really love that color. So let's set the brows. I'm gonna use the Glossier Boy Brow. I'm looking for the right shade. This one is in the shade brown, and I'm gonna set my brows with this. And then for the center of the lips, I'm gonna use the gloss Barely There. I just want a little bit in the center for some dimension and a little bit of shine. Just a tiny bit though. And there you go, that completes the makeup look. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna kind of review the entire collection off of my first impressions and let you know what I personally would purchase or recommend purchasing. Remember, this is based off of my personal preference, my skin tone, what I feel like look best on me, and what I feel like I'm gonna personally use the most. As far as formulas go, Dose of Colors always impresses me with formulas all the way around, so that's not something that I was really concerned about. I know that these lip colors are gonna wear beautifully because I already own so many liquid lipsticks, and I also really Really like the formula of their glosses. Their eyeshadows are also beautiful and the highlights are stunning as well, so I really like the formula of everything so far. The only formula that I wouldn't really be as sure of, I guess, would have been the eyeshadow palette formula. I do own lots of eyeshadows from Dose of Colors, love their formulas as well, but obviously since Karen created these shades, I'm sure she worked on the formulas and they could be slightly different than the other formulas that I've tried. With that being said, I loved how these blended out on my eyes. The thing with the mattes that I really appreciated actually is when you swatch them they're not like gonna be like a morphe buttery kind of matte that's just what I personally found but I kind of prefer that because when I actually went to apply it on the eyes as you guys saw during the tutorial it just really blended out so nicely and it was so buildable and there were no patchy marks or anything like that so I love the matte formula in this palette these two shades are so incredibly unique I love them I love how the blue looks on my eyes this palette definitely made me reach out of my comfort zone and try something new but it's also really easy to work with. There's six shadows. You really can't go wrong. I used five out of the six shadows and created this look and I'm absolutely loving how it looks. Honestly, I feel like this applied beautifully. I have nothing bad to say about it. I love the color combination. There is one thing that I wanted to kind of mention because I was kind of curious to compare this to another of my favorite eyeshadow palettes just to kind of see how they compare and I'm sure maybe some of you seeing this eyeshadow palette might have thought the same thing and may have wanted to see a side-by-side -side comparison. So it kind of reminded me a little bit of the Dream Street palette from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights just because it kind of has the same kind of terracotta and then blue shades But when I actually held them up next to each other So here are the two palettes obviously the colors really kind of look like they could be in the same family But if you look closely there are not identical shades in either palette They are slightly different to me this shade right here and this shade right here is so unique It's incomparable to anything in the Dream Street palette as well as the uh, peach shade right here is so beautiful And there's not a peach transition in this palette. I just wanted to kind of show you, you could definitely create something with similar tones using the Dream Street palette, but I personally feel like they are different and I was able to
able to create a more colorful kind of out there look with the colors in this palette so I just want to show you guys that just in case you were wondering if there was a difference or not I personally feel like yes they are in the same family but they are very different palettes in my opinion being a makeup artist I created a completely different look than I would have ever been able to with the Dream Street palette so I would highly recommend the eyeshadow palette the highlighters I'd say the more that this melts into my skin the more I like it so I think that I would recommend soulmate if you have my skin tone or anything deeper just because it's so beautiful and it looks really buttery on the skin when I put setting spray on it it just melted into the skin it's not like my typical color of highlighter just because I am so fair but I will definitely be using this I feel like this summer especially when I have a fake tan on that will just help me kind of be able to pull this off a little bit more I do feel like I was able to pull it off it's just not my go-to kinds of highlighters when I am my fairest so I just want to kind of put that out there I feel like these will look best on medium to deep skin tones of course though they did work on me and I have fair skin the rose gold one I feel like worked as a blush topper but I don't know if I would personally be using this a ton because of my skin tone so I think that I will get most use out of soulmate personally and I absolutely love how that looks on the skin both are gorgeous again this review is just based off of my personal preference and my skin tone so for the lip colors I think that I have two favorites I love nude chica and peachy so much and I feel like I'm gonna get so much use out of this again this is nude chica on the lips and then I have the barely there gloss just kind of padded in the middle and I'm loving this combination especially with the eye look I feel like the peach color is gonna look so pretty if I want to create a monochromatic look using this shade right here all over the lid maybe deepening it up with this one and then having the peach lip color on the lips I'm like so excited to create that look I want to do something monochromatic with this and so these two are the colors that I would personally recommend these are the two that I feel like if I went to purchase something out of the collection I would buy these the other two colors are absolutely gorgeous and if you are interested in both I love the formula and I would recommend them but I just wanted to let you know that like these two the peachy and new chica are my personal favorites all four are gorgeous though the glosses for me personally if I were to choose one I would pick up the barely there gloss but I feel like it's really beautiful as a gloss to put on top of the liquid lipsticks when I swatch them on my lips alone it just was something that is a little bit too nude for my preference but I absolutely love how it looks in the center of the liquid lipstick that I'm wearing right now so I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of that wearing it like I am right now the Brio shade is really pretty as well but if I had to pick I would choose this one I think I think this gloss would be gorgeous as a topper and I actually would wear this alone as well so it just depends on preference I think all of these lip colors are gorgeous but those were kind of like my personal favorites as of right now all right you guys that completes this video I hope you found this swatch slash review slash makeup tutorial helpful all additional details and prices will be down below I believe these launch on the 27th so there is a little bit of time until they do launch I do think they have early access somehow so I will link that down below if I can find it congratulations to Karen on this collection I can't even imagine how much work went into this and I think it's so gorgeous there's definitely something that I want to have on display in my room this summer the packaging is stunning and this eyeshadow palette is everything I can't wait to keep playing with it thanks to dose of colors also for sending all these products I'm forever grateful and always look forward to their new launches because they're so incredible and they've been a brand that has supported me since my channel was itty itty bitty so I'm so grateful for dose of colors if you haven't joined the family yet please do so by hitting the subscribe button and if you want to be a part of the notification squad just go ahead and hit the bell after you subscribe and you'll be notified every single time I post which is on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays that's everything you guys I love you all so much leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite things are out of this collection and I will see you all in my next video love you bye